I'm going to show you in this video how to submit your scanned work to a Gradescope assignment if you'll be using Gradescope for your take-home exams. So I'm going to do this through the Blackboard Student app. So I'm going to open up the app on my phone. I'm going to sign in with my University of Reading credentials and the single sign-on. And once I'm logged in, I want to go up to the menu and find the course where the exam is taking place from my list of courses. And once I've found it, I need to go into the course content area because this is where the folder where your Gradescope exams will sit. So there'll be a number of different options. Uh, you should see one which will have a name, something like Take Home Exam 2021, which I'm going to click on. And in there, there will be all the uh, exam information, where to get technical support, but there'll also be on the day of your exam, a folder which you can open. In here, we'll also have uh, technical support specific for Gradescope if you encounter any troubles, and it'll have the Gradescope link itself. Once I've clicked on that, it will open up and give me the corresponding uh, Gradescope course for my module. And then I can see the exam submission point here below. So this will tell me the due date and I will click on it and I will see the information about the exam. So a couple of things to take note of is once you've started, the time remaining for you to complete your exam is in the top corner. This will be the entire time to write down all your answers, scan and submit your file. In the green box in the center of the screen is where I can download the exam script, which will have the questions on it, which I am then answering on paper. Once I come to submit, I can submit a PDF or images, and we really recommend you do PDF because this will work better with the system and is a little less complicated than submitting images and also let you tag your pages for individual questions, which is something we'll look at later. If you need some advice about scanning your pages, you should be able to see a link on the screen, which will take you to our video about using Office Lens uh, to scan your work, though you may find that your phone has natively built-in apps, um, Android and iPhone, that can do the same thing as well. So once we're ready to submit, we'll click on that Submit PDF, and then we'll be prompted to select a PDF file from our phone. And this is something that we have to do before the time limit runs out, but once we've submitted, uh, the tagging process which comes later can be completed outside of that time. Here it's opened up the files on my mobile phone. Um, depending on where you save your files, you can access your Google Drive, OneDrive, or the local files on your phone. The one I'm looking for in my, in my case is here locally in my recent files on the top. So I'm going to uh, click on that one, which then attaches it to the submission. And I can see there it's uh, listed in the file. And I will click Upload PDF to complete my submission of this file. Then I will be given the question outline, uh, which has here the sort of question one and two and all the sub questions that I answered. And I'm going to be clicking on the questions, for instance, question 1.1a, and then clicking on the page beneath where the answer for that question can be found. So you should be putting one question on an individual answer page because that will make it a bit simpler for you. But if you do have a question that runs over multiple pages, you can select a question and assign multiple pages to it. Or you can assign multiple questions to a single page if one of your pages has more than one answer on it. This process you can be um, completed outside of your time limit, so do just make sure you give yourself enough time to get to this stage and upload your PDF, um, and then you can tag afterwards without having to worry about running out of time. Once I have finished assigning all these pages 
to the different questions, I can click on submit. Now, you may get a message or you may not, depending on what you've scanned. I get a message saying there's an unmatched page. That's because I had a cover sheet, which is not included in the answers. So that's fine. I'm just going to click submit assignment. You may not get this message if you don't have a cover sheet. Once I've finished, I will be given a message that my submission has been successful. And then I'm able to just review my submission just to make sure it's all, uh, all accounted for and all correct. And then my submission will be marked. At a later point, I will be able to see my marks on the RISIS portal.